So House of Dragons. House of the Dragon. I'm going to say with such elegance mm -hmm. and vigor. Woo! No, yeah, it was re uh, really good. It had all the good stuff. Well, for the good stuff, man. It had a good, uh, good old Game of Thrones stuff. You got the sex, blood, drama, I mean, the action. It's all really there. The political scheming and the corruption. Everybody wants the damn... Uh, Still after that Iron Throne, Throne that apparently pricks you every time you sit on it, which I mean, it's honestly, just tetanus. yeah, like honestly, is it really sanitary? Put some cushions on that or something. But we pretty Not much practical. open up nearly 200 years before the events of Game of Thrones. I don't know the king's name. He's like a peacetime king. He's been ruling for like 15 years, 50 it's years. Just Sakarpakavaga, the first, and he's got to pick a successor because he doesn't have any kids. I'm pretty sure so. He makes a controversial... Uh, oh, they died. Remember they said that the sons oh, tragically died? They died. Yeah. Um, so their kids, those two are grandchildren. I looked it up. Those two okay. are grandchildren. So those are um, the closest descendants to that guy. Yeah, she's and the was, older one. It was very controversial because she had the claim, the mm -hmm. age, because she's older, but they picked the male because it's a male. You know, yeah, it's a patriarchy. Um... And in that time, as in medieval times, they're not used to women rulers. And so it kind of leads up into his successor, which is another controversial pick, because he does the thing where he picks the right one, not the oldest one who has claim. Not the one that owns claim. Oh, God, she's so annoying. She does that all she's the time. Waiting she knows talk. that we're talking, and she's, like, looking for our attention. She's a demon. We open up to... Uh, him picking his successor. He doesn't pick his brother because he's brutal and he's a prick. So he's going to pick the the chick, his uh, daughter. Uh, what's her name? Renera. I'm not a huge Game of Thrones guy, so I'm not going to get all the damn names together. V Visceral, Viserys, yeah, Visectomy. I'm not going to get it, okay? I seriously almost passed out. You're such a dork. Open up to a bunch of new characters. And the three that really stood out to me was the king, Viserys. And he's kind of like a peaceful king. Kind of wants to... A little too peaceful. He wants to prolong the peaceful reign or whatever. And I kind of... Unless his little seeds. brother's chopping people up. He's really desperate for a male. Really desperate. Super desperate. For a male. He really it's wants pathetic. to carry on that uh, tradition. And he ends up paying for it. Yeah. Bad. And the most gruesome scene, birthing scene I've ever seen. One of the most gruesome Game of Thrones scenes I've ever seen. Right. Then I mean, they get in there. And everything? Yeah, that, they get in there. It's gruesome, man. And it, they splice it with a tournament scene, which yeah. is special. It's action packed. But when you go to the, I'm sitting there like biting my yeah. When you go that. back to the, to the, you know, when she's giving birth, you're like, all right, I'll just yeah. get it out of there. Yeah, Damn yeah. it! It's 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 pretty gruesome. There's a lot of gruesome uh, scenes in here, and this is the first episode. They wasted no time at all. And with him and his, uh, what is it called, the watch, pretty much doing the priest brutality shit where he's cutting off the hands of the thief, killing the murderer, and chopping off the dick of the, of the rapist. Oh, God. Blah. No, 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 no. Fuck you. Another character that points out is the princess herself. She really doesn't want the throne. Uh, kind of the opposite of Daenerys, where she's really craving that fucking thing. And it kind of turns into her downfall of how much she really wants it. She's like, at the expense of all this shit, she ends up losing everything. At least in the show. In the show. And here, though, uh, Rhaenyra, she, she literally said, I'd rather just ride my dragon, eat cakes all day, which sounds awesome, by the way. And she wants to hang out with her best friend, girlfriend, whatever the hell they are. Yeah, we'll find out. And she's pretty much the first to be queen of the throne. Like, the first go around, she's Daenerys, the original Not yet, Daenerys. she's princess now. Right. She, they They're did the whole formal it. thing, just yeah. in case he dies. She's yeah. princess, They're so going she technically it. will be queen if he dies. Yeah. One more interesting character is Daemon Targaryen. Where you can obviously see by just looking at him. What's his name? Matt Smith. Just looking at the guy, you can he fits the role perfectly of an evil Targaryen. And he's got that nose. He's got that ears. face, man. Yeah, he's got sharp like a sharp dragon face. Yeah. And, and the guy, the poor guy doesn't deserve it, but he's got that punchable face. Yeah. yeah he does. And, and the casting director knows what I'm talking about. You can tell that he loves his brother, but he thinks he's too weak and he thinks he can rule better with like an iron fist. He's, like I said with the watch, he's just being really brutal with everybody. Yeah. And it is kind of like a the Hamlet and the Northmen kind of mythology where the uncle wants to take the throne 
and the nephew or niece is the one who's going to inherit it uh, initially. So we're going to see how this goes. We all know it's going to end up in a civil war. Yeah. 17 dragons that are going to go yeah. toe to toe. The, so the I'm excited, yeah, the man. people. Well, I mean, they say we'll only get nine in the first season. That's but so that's cool. a lot. That's yeah. three times the amount we got in the entire series yeah. of Game of Thrones. Three yeah. times the amount in the first season. And the these dragons, Thrones. you know, everyone's got one, almost. Yeah. Almost every every fucking character, Targaryen-wise, has got a goddamn dragon. I love it. And apparently Vagar's in here, who is part of the trio of Aegon the Conqueror. Conqueror. His two sisters. One of his sisters has Vagar, who oh. should be in this... Uh, so, yeah, yeah, we should see it. I'll just say, like, the three standout moments we had in this was the dragon riding theme. We just talked about that with the music and everything, where we see the we see clouds. Yeah, we're, we're, we're waiting, waiting for the for dragon. It. We're waiting for it. We get it, and we get it with the music. Right. We get the, you know, the similar environment we're used to that we can recognize. Mm -hmm. uh, King's Landing. The next uh, scene that stood out to us was the gruesome birth C-section slash the tournament. That scene as a whole and was great. The, it, you know, interlinking of the two. Right. And I you have the good action scenes of who, what's going on on the ground, literally, and what's going to happen in the future. Like, who's going to take over? And it's both like, uh, uh, who's that guy? Kristen. Uh, Kristen Cole. Kristen Cole. He was badass. Yeah, he's a new character. I'm the really choreography, looking forward man. to see. Yeah, the, the fighting is completely different. A, a hell of a lot better. The cuts are smooth. They're fast. I never had the concept of you joust, hurry up, get the next lance, and, and then you go keep again, going. Again. And I was like, oh, that's fucking sick. They, yeah, they really, they really took advantage of the whole jousting sport. And Damon grinding on that like a fucking yeah, skateboard riding the rails off. Like, yeah. It's great because you can see him reaching for the reins and he can't reach it and he just fucking plops yeah. and he gets all butt hurt and then they start fighting on the ground. And some of the things, some of that raw shit, like Game of Thrones was, you know, one of those shows that it is either raw. wanted you to go, oh, or, oh, or yeah. Jesus. You yeah, know, it was yeah. one of those where they, they got off on making you feel that way. All right, so the next... A scene that stood out was King Viserys' change of heart, where he lost everything due to his holding on to, to, to uh, tradition, and yeah. pretty much to please the people, like, look, I got an heir, so we can secure... Our he's got a dick! So now he's got to choose between his dick, brutal brother, or his perfect fit for the throne mm. uh, daughter. Mm. And he chooses the daughter. I don't know. He does have a wiener, which makes him superior. Right. Um, no, I mean, overall, I really liked it. I'm excited for the next week. I'm excited for the series as a whole. I'm yeah. hopeful. Wait, I, you know what? I wasn't really hooked in the Game of Thrones one. I've seen it multiple times all the way through, and I've read most of the books. But, you know, this one seems a little, I don't know. I, I don't think it's the budget. I think it's actually, the there's direction. just more things are in it, you know, and I'm digging the whole let's go back. When George R. R. Martin, more things are abundant. Yeah, the more D &D guys are out of there. So yeah, so the money is there. The, the guys, whoever are doing it, at least by the first episode, good, good. never stop. It's never it's stop because looking you guys good. are great. And I think George R. R. Martin's direct influence is helping a little bit mm -hmm. because now he's. At, I've heard that he's more involved with from what happened last. But the last season, yeah, they're coming out on HBO, right? I can't. I don't, and we'll be we'll be doing this every week. Yeah, we'll try and do it every. Week also, the Lord of the Rings week. stuff is coming. Lord of the Rings, yeah, we'll we be got doing that, that as well. Next week, next Friday, so we got Friday and Saturday. Both, yeah. by the way, have been deemed too woke. So, I mean, Jesus, one hasn't even come out yet. <laughs> the other ones only had one episode, and we're like, it's over. I saw it's a video over. that came Give out. Us a second. I saw a video that came out. I didn't see it. I saw the thumbnail two weeks ago before anyone saw it. And it said, it's woke, and it has a picture of, uh, uh, what's her name? Renaris and... And her little servant, and she's, like, putting on a necklace, and then the black guy, the black guy, like, you don't even know what's going yeah, on! They just, put, they just put black and gay in the thumbnail, <laughs> and they're like, I'm never gonna watch this, and no one else will either! Yeah. And then it turns out to be And then it turns awesome. out to be good because we don't care about color or games right. or anything like right. that. We care about story. It's got politics, it's got all the Game of Thrones shit, it's got the action, it's got the sex, like I don't know what else you want. Anyways, that was our lengthy review of episode one, season one Just of wait for House of the Dragons. Two. Episode two. I, I can't I can't wait. I 
can't wait to see more dragons, man. Dragons. I'm going to predict this right now. The end of this season is going to piss us all off. That's just how we roll in Game of Thrones. Well, they said it's a tragedy on a tragedy yeah. on a tragedy. I and know. The first episode alone was tragic as fuck. Yeah, the when mom. he said when she was being held down, which let's she's talk like, about that. She's first like, second. "What are you doing?" And he goes, <laughs> "Get her, boys." <laughs> let's talk Get about her. how the cultural relevance of that, which is the baby Almost has accidental. more, the baby has more say than the wife, than the woman, than the mom. So they literally hold her down, kill her to rip the baby out, and the baby dies anyway. And boy, do they take their time to get that goddamn baby out? I'll tell you that. They're like, "Hmm, where is it?" They're like, "God damn it!" It's in there. Just grab it. Rip it out of there. Anyways. Fuck, man. And one more other thing. <sighs> we'll see you guys in the next one. No, you won't. Well, also, point. if you like us, subscribe. And if you don't like us, subscribe. So you can hate watch us. Because we're very controversial. And you can tell us how much we suck and all the stupid things. Actually, it's Viserial. All the stupid things Valeria. we get wrong. And you put it in that comment section, and, and then, maybe we'll talk about it. And then you, afterwards, you do the whole thing where you close your eyes and puff out your chest. Send. There. I think I made my point. Hate watch. Hate watch the shit out of us. I mean, because guess what, baby? We're still here!